Okay, I have started Andre Ackman's Call Me By Your Name, um, 2007 novel. Uh, I'm listening to the audiobook narrated by uh, Army Hammer, who stars as the as uh, the love object Oliver in the movie of, which I have not seen. Um, so, yes, uh, set in the 1980s, uh, it's told in the voice uh, from the perspective of uh, Elio Perlman, uh, an uh, At uh, American-Italian uh, fellow uh, living with his family in uh, Italy. <laughs> One of the many reasons I could, I could, uh, I, could I, 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 there's a slight amount of resentment of this book. Uh, it lives in Italy. Uh, it's summer. Uh, his father is a professor, and um, every every summer they have uh, a new kind of house guest, uh, a visiting scholar who helps her, his father with a bit of his stuff, and then gets the kind of rest of the time of his own to kind of. Um, to work on whatever scholarly work he's working on. And uh, yes, Oliver shows up. Oliver, beautiful, handsome, strapping Oliver of his uh, red bathing suit uh, shows up. And uh, Elio, who I think at the very opening of this book, I'm going to have to go back once I'm done, but is is looking back on this, but it's still, it's very told from the present, present his, his like he's in the 80s experiencing this very kind of present vivid thing it's like you know um oliver going up a and, and the the first part i i've read the first part and um about halfway through the second part in the first part it's all about um elio's kind of growing just desire and longing for oliver uh, uh oliver who is very kind of i think he opens he opens to this book opens with him saying, like, he just, he says later. And it's like, later. It's like, is it dismissive? Is it, is it a promise? Uh, it sounds like an insult. Uh, that's Oliver's kind of very kind of curt, curt tone. And he'll get these kind of icy stares. And, uh, and Elio will kind of try and kind of do his own kind of, try not to. Elio, who is very, uh, very precocious, very, uh, very uh, intense himself uh, this um, a part of me wonders if this is slightly uh, a uh, older man conjuring up kind of a kind of a dewy 17 year old sexy guy who's having this longing for this 24 year old sexy guy and you know they're they're having these intense kind of they they know their literature. They know, which I mean, I guess he's 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 the kid of a professor. So he, you know, it's I, I remember knowing kids who were like had professors for 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 parents and and always being slightly um, annoyed with them because they 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 by osmosis knew a hell of a lot more than I did. So yet another reason to kind of like be slightly. Um, so I'm I'm you know when you sink into. Elio's voice, it's like, ah, you're kind of swept up with it. There's Oscar um, on a ladder getting apricots, and it's like, and, and he tosses an apricot to uh, Elio, and Elio's like, I can't help but think it's like he's offering me his ass, his beautiful cupped ass in that in the in those red trunks the red trunks where we get to the very kind of pitch of his desire at the end of part one where he's he slips into his room and he nuzzles his those those trunks the inside of those trunks thinking about you know him in those trunks and then get getting the suit down and like just wanting to orgasm in them and just let, let him know that like i came i came in your stuff just like super super desire and and being convinced that uh oliver is you know is going off and and screwing screwing all the all the women there's a kind of a girl who's about his age um that he thinks like oh he's with her but it's like no it's not um and indeed um so we get that this kind of this very rush of beautiful sensual stuff in part one and then in part two um finally it kind of breaks through 
And it's like he sort of he does say it. He says it in a very non-saying way, that kind of coded gay way of saying, you know, I'm I, I you know, obviously, you know what I know, <laughs> kind of very kind of intense. And they have this thing and and Oliver is sort of like, you don't want to be with me, kid, kind of that's like I'd be bad for you. And it's like I wouldn't be able to stop. And, uh, you know. And it's 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 obviously that yes, Oliver has been lusting over Elio, this uh, this tawny seventeen year old Jewish youth. They're both Jewish, and he Elio thinks about they're both their circumcised cocks, and it's just uh, quite 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 gorgeous. And now he's uh, in this section. We're getting a lot of just sort of dream dream sex, dream like you know he's thinking about about just having him and, and, and this thing of like, you know, you'll kill me, he thinks in the dream, he, he Oliver saying, you'll kill me if you stop, if, if you stop. And uh, at this final point, he's, he realizes it's like, no, it's not me face down on the bed, it's Oliver. And I am, it's like me receiving is so, so, so kind of passive and stuff like that. It's like, I want the activeness of, 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 of giving, which is obviously we're talking about, you know, being being the the inserting the inserter versus the uh, the receiver um plunging himself into oliver um and so there's slightly the kind of the uh this being the 80s you, you definitely get that kind of like it's not okay to be gay kind of thing even though his father he says is is liberal but he doesn't think he's that liberal like you know, Elio is sort of like just sort of sensing things out, and you gotta sort of probably trust the kid there. Um, so, it's a beautifully written book, beautiful sensuous language. There's a part of me that's just like, ah, fuck you, fuck you, 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 super privileged, you know, Italian dwelling, gorgeous men, you know in sun dappled Italy it's just like a part of me wants to just sort of sink into kind of it's just like kind of a travel porn kind of fantasy of bookishness because like they're also bookish good lord um but the other part is just like oh they're also just so so kind of cool and so kind of beautiful and sharp and we know things and it's just like I'm I'm the gormless I'm the gormless tourist who walks through with a sunburn and and uh is 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 it, you know gets ill or something like that. This is this is uh this is not a world that I'm ever gonna be in. And he talks about his esperils. He doesn't have shoes, he has esperils, which is just like oh god. So I kind of waver back and forth between kind of being swept up and kind of the uh erotic uh, erotic, sun-dappled Italy, uh, these two beautiful men, uh, well, one very beautiful young man, both of them young men to be. Um, it's like, this is almost like kind of a sexy YA novel, uh, though I have a feeling uh, it's going to jump in years, so maybe we'll get a little bit more reflection. It'll get a little, it'll be interesting to see, because like Elio at this point, while a precocious 17-year-old, is definitely a 17 year old obsessed obsessively in love um i know i know i think even i think even before i learned it he is a, a student of proust somebody who the uh, andre Ackman is someone who 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 has steeped himself in proust and there's definitely uh, a gay two two gay men um having a torrid love affair and the longing and the and that just kind of that unspokenness and and all that is is definitely uh, there's a Proustian thing there. There's also just that kind of fineness of fineness of taste, fineness of sensibility, which is uh, slightly uh, slightly Proustian, uh, I guess. Um, so I have to watch out for you know a my anti anti intellectualism, um, also my uh, raving uh, uh, socialist uh, worker. Um, resent, resentments, resentments, you know, eat the rich sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so far so good. And, but yeah, our Arnie Hammer can really deliver these lines quite well. So that's never a bad thing. You can, you can, you can, uh, he, he's, 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 he's doing the 17 year old and he's doing Oliver, of course, doing that quite well. So enjoyment so far, enjoyment. All right. 
I will stop there.